Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Carls and I'm back with another video. Um, honestly, this is kind of spare of the moment, but I was just thinking about, wow, so many people are like, Carly, you, you use a lot of hot sauces. Why do you need that many? And sometimes it's hard to explain that certain hot sauces are for certain things. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just, you know, get on here and explain the method to my madness and why I am so adamant about owning a lot of different types of like hot sauces and you know why it makes sense in my head. Also, I just got a touch up for my brows yesterday, so my face looks a little crazy, but the brows though. Peep the brows. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you want more information about that, I actually have a previous video that I did talking more about my ombre brow experience, so you should check that out. First up, the... I wouldn't say holy grail for me, but one that I use very often for a lot of different things. Crystal. Yes, Crystal. I like Crystal. Crystal can be interchanged with like a Red Rooster vibe or if you can find it, Extra Hot Crystal, which is the best. At it. I think they stopped selling it because the only place I can find it is Amazon for like $10. So. And I just like the flavor, so it works out for me. So definitely Crystal is always in my pantry. Second off, I know a lot of people give this one a lot of hate, but just hear me out. Just hear me out. Tabasco. I don't know if you can see it. Tabasco. So a lot of people are like, oh, this is like super vinegary, like, ugh, I really like it. And honestly, that is one of the main reasons why I have it in my pantry is because it's so vinegary for a pepper sauce. Also, if you do like Caesar salad, hear me out. Pepper, extra lemon, and Tabasco in your Caesar salad, it will change your life. Your life. It is that good. It is literally that good. Like now I want a Caesar salad. <laughs> but Tabasco sauce, I don't know. It just adds that acidic flair. It does what needs to be done, but it stays in its lane. It's, it knows that it's not the hot sauce for everybody and that's okay. But it has a place in my pantry. So that's the vibe I get from Tabasco. Another one, well, honestly, I could talk about these two pretty similarly, but I'll start off with Tapatio. Tapatio, I love the um, the guy on here. I honestly, I want to like research to know who this guy is supposed to be, but I've seen so many parody bottles of like different people right here, even for like Halloween and stuff. But don't mind my bottle. Obviously, you could tell I get a lot of use from it. But I don't know what it is. But okay, first of all, Tapatio is not my favorite hot sauce. It is a very distinct flavor that oftentimes overpowers the food you're eating. So when I use something like Tapatio, it's very specific. Like I love, I don't know what it is, but I love Tapatio with like corn chips. Like Tapatio pairs really well with corn things like even like small like tacos like tapatio goes well on um and sometimes if i have a salsa that i bought and maybe the flavor of the salsa is like mm, i'll add some tapatio to it and just kind of in, not overpower the flavor but enhance it and i really enjoy that and i often kind of find myself doing the same thing and eating the same foods with Valentina. Valentina, I feel like, is in like every aisle of every store. And one day I was just like, I'm gonna try it. And it kind of gives me the same vibe. Like, they don't taste the same at all, but it gives me the same vibe. So, yeah, these are very specific, but I use them pretty much interchangeably. 
Um, another one that I usually have, honestly, this one, I'm not gonna lie, if I run out of it, I'm slow to replace it because it's good, but I'm never like, ooh, I'm craving this hot sauce, but I just prefer it to be available in my pantry, and that is Cholula. For me, I have a little bit of nostalgia with Cholula because it was a hot sauce that was honestly always available at my college, um, what is it called, cafeteria. Um, they didn't have the best hot sauces, but they had Cholula. And that is where my relationship with Cholula started. Um, for me, it's more along the lines of Crystal than it is Tapatio or Valentina, but I use it a lot of times kind of like I use Crystal. So I like to have Cholula on hand too. Also, shout out to Aubrey if you're watching this. I did not eat Cholula like that, but this girl always had it at the house, my old roommate. So shout out to you for also putting me on. Um, and then the one I have last to show you guys, obviously is pretty popular, Sriracha. Um, so I keep this in my fridge. I usually have some on hand. I'm not loyal to um, brands. I'll interchange between like the original brand and honestly Trader Joe's Sriracha is pretty good. Um, it's a good flavor profile for like a lot of Asian dishes, like if I have noodles or like a rice dish or even some like proteins marinades, sriracha, yeah. It just adds that extra oomph without being overpowering, kind of like the other ones, but in a different way. Um, and yeah, it's really good. To be honest, I don't use I use sriracha more for like cooking than I do like topping the foods that are already made, if that makes sense. Like I'm not putting crystal on the stove when I'm making something. I'm not putting tapatio, like drizzling it on something that I'm sizzling. But sriracha, like this, this gets a lot of cook time, if that makes sense. I use it less topping things. I think the only thing I really top it with is maybe like ramen or something like that. And then also I wanted to talk about is not pictured because I use it almost every day but I just ran out and I'm really annoyed that I didn't pick up more especially at a time like this when I'm talking to you about my hot sauces but sambal. Sambal, I'll put a picture somewhere maybe right here. It is like the chili paste from God. Like God was like here you go. It is literally so good on everything. I also use it a lot for marinades, for proteins. It's good on rice, it's good on noodles, and it's super affordable. I just love it, and if you don't already use it to some capacity, pick it up the next time you're at the grocery store because it just, mm. And the one that I really like getting, I think it's like garlic chili paste, which is also fire. It's just so good. It's a good thing to have on your fridge door and you're like, mm, let me just put that on something. So I use that quite often. But yeah, the, <laughs> these are the hot sauces that I usually have at home, ready to go for whatever I'm eating. Um, and I don't know, it's cool to have like a little collection. I grew up with parents that love hot sauce. So I was surrounded by a lot of different hot sauces and honestly, like a pretty dope collection. So when I moved into my own space, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing that too. I want options. I wanna look back and say, oh, that'd be great with this, or that'd be great with that. Or even when I'm traveling, bring back a hot sauce. I know when I went to Brazil a couple years ago, I brought back this like limited hot sauce for my dad. And if you know, Brazil, they're not like huge for hot sauce. Like the simplicity of their food is what makes it so beautiful. And a lot of times when I was there, if you asked for hot sauce, they would give you straight up like peppers and oil. <laughs> so the fact that I found hot sauce there, I was so over the moon. So I just want to create more memories like that and just really expand my knowledge of hot sauces and you know, what benefits they have to the foods that I eat them with. Um, the ones that I shared today, they're obviously, they're pretty common. These are the ones where if you go to like a grocery store, you most likely will find them there. But I'm excited in the future to find more hot sauces that you can't find at the grocery store are the ones that just like you can't replicate the flavor profiles so 
I don't know. I'm really excited I did this. If you are into hot sauces, let me know your favorite hot sauce in the comments and I'll be able to check it out in the future. Um, if you liked this kind of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see something, I don't know, specific in the future, let me know as well. Um, yeah, it was nice sharing this with you guys and I'll see you next time.